my job tasting the wine and, and having that artistic and really cool like traditional sense of winemaking is is definitely the part of my job that I enjoy the most. actually a fully functioning winery. The only thing we don't do here is bring in grapes. We don't bring grapes to the facility. We bring juice to the facility. So in a sense, there's juice. There's a couple of grapes in the juice when it comes in. So we do kind of. It's juice here. We add yeast. It's called inoculation. We inoculate the juice. We add yeast and we add food for the yeast and we add like different chemicals that kind of help with like balancing the acids and the flavors and the wines for later on. By keeping the wine cold, we slow down their their biological processes. We bring them we bring the speed down. So instead of them just going crazy and eating as much sugar as they can, we're keeping them slow. So the descent like in sugar and the rise in alcohol goes at like a very kind of even decline. The bottling line is probably the job that, part of the job that I have the most challenge with. Um, and but it's fun. It's a good challenge. I like to work hard. Like I'm a hard working person. But it's it's a huge like animal with a lot of information. And um, just the, each machine on the bottling line and learning the machines and kind of tr being able to troubleshoot them over the years, things like that. I've been here for about four and a half years and I still don't feel like I got, have everything with the bottling line. So it's a, it's a very, it's a very um, demanding part of my job, but it's good. I'd never done that before. I'd never been involved in bottling in the wine industry before. So it was interesting to kind of come here and be plunged headlong into it have to either succeed or fail. So. so the empty glass travels down this conveyor belt here, goes into this machine. This is, um, it's an orbital uh, nitrogen sparging unit. Basically a hose goes inside the bottle and um, sparges the inside of the bottle with nitrogen. So the bottles are cleaned out and sparged and then we head into the bottling room. So the wine's being pumped through these, through these stainless steel lines right here and coming down and flowing down into this tank where it sits. They come into here and then they get lined up, uh, perfect timing, they get lined up right underneath one of these filler tubes. And then as the bottles come up and kind of click the valves on the bottom of the filler tubes, the wine goes in. So it's a constantly filling with wine. After it leaves the filler, it's back on the conveyor and it comes with a corker. A cork drops down, there's, a, there's these basically crushing, these four crushing pieces that fit perfectly together that squeeze the cork like to like a really small little like like a dime, you know? They squeeze the cork down and then a plunger goes down and shoots the cork out right at the right time while the bottle's there. So it shoots the cork in while it's super small and gets it right into the bottle type and then and then it comes out and the cork expands and it's stuck in the bottle. Yeah, you know, some of our products of wine, they don't use corks, they use screw caps. So um, this is a, a machine that does that. Basically, it applies the screw caps to the bottles of wine. Uh, after the after the bottles have left the filling room, when they've gotten corks or capsules, um, they come through. We have two different label machines, so it depends on what type of label we're running. And they come through. Um, this one is a a pressure sensitive label machine, so it's like a sticker basically. So it has an adhesive already on the back of it, it sticks right onto the bottle. It gets pressed down, and it's it's totally ready to go. The other um, labeling machine we have over there, it's wet glue. So it's a piece of paper basically, and then you have glue in the machine that, with a roller drenched in glue, and the paper goes over the roller and gets like glue applied to it, and then it gets applied directly to the bottle. You have the label, you have the capsule, you have the core. Most importantly, you have the wine. They come into uh, the case packer. It counts out in the three lanes. You have one, two, three, four bottles. So you have 12 bottles, which is the makeup of a case. They stop right at this point. There's some, uh, some pistons that come down to stop the wine itself. The case is right underneath it at this point. The case gets moved up. Um, a little grate that the bottles are sitting on basically pulls back and the bottles fall into the case. The case comes back down and it goes through. So you, all, you have the forklift driver bringing in the empty glass at the beginning here and then taking out the finished goods and, and putting it in the back and keeping track of it. He's also the one who kind of keeps track of how much we make every day and does the double check with the supervisor at the end of the day, which is me. Definitely babysitting a lot of things in the wine industry. I, uh, I definitely enjoyed having wine in my life. It, it's, it's got like a lot of interesting, as, a, like, as something you do, it has a lot of interesting kind of ins like to society. I find I go to a restaurant and I bring a bottle of wine with me and they usually either knock off money or 
you get something out of it. You know, like it's really like, it's a great thing to trade. People like it. Like it's a good product to have in your hands.